Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about percent of change. We're going to find each percent change to the nearest percent, and state if it's an increase or a decrease. So, if I was given this problem, from 139 minutes to 385 minutes, so I was given from 139 minutes to 385 minutes. Well, first we need to know is that an increase or a decrease? And that is an increase, right? We're going up from 139 to 385. So that's an increase. So it's an increase here. Okay. Well, now let's go how much of an increase. Well, we're just going to find the difference between these two numbers. So I'm taking my larger number, 385. Subtract the smaller one, 139. Okay. Well, the 5, oh, I can't take 9 from 5, so let's make that 8 is 7. Five, uh, 15 minus 9, that's me 6, right? 7 minus 3 is 4, and we have 3 minus 1 is 2. And we have 246 here as my answer, or not my answer of this, this little problem here. I'm going to take that 246, and I'm going to divide it by my first number, 139. Okay? So, taking that one, uh, 246. 246 divided by 139, we get a 1, approximately, 1.7698, okay? 1.7698, okay? Well, I need to convert that to a percent. This is just a decimal, so I move it over two units, 1, 2, okay? So now I have 176.98. Well, Hmm, that point, that 6 and the 9, the 9 causes that 6 to round up because it's greater than 4, uh, four or 5 and up. So we actually have a 177%, 177% increase here. Okay? So let's recap. We started with our problem from 139 minutes to 385 minutes. We knew that was an increase, so I put that down right there first. It's an increase, okay? So <clears throat> I find that difference between the numbers 385 minus 139 and got 246. At 246, I divided by my first number, and I used my calculator for this one. So 246 divided by 139 came out to be approximately 1.7698. To convert a decimal uh, to a percent, we just move it over two uh, decimal to over two positions. Uh, so we go, boo, and we get some 176.98. Then, from there, we had a round to the nearest percent, so that 9 caused that 6. We looked at the 1 right after the last number, 6. We look at the 9. And so that 9 cost 6 to round up, so now we have a 177% increase as our final answer.